about traveling. Oh, Vicky. This is touching the camera. And this is Vicky. Hello, everybody. My beautiful girl. Look how bad. My name is Nanda, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I normally do videos about traveling, this kind of vlogs. Um, but today is going to be a little bit different. Today I decided to talk about something that happened to me uh, 10 years ago actually. Uh, but I never really talked about it before. It was just something creepy. So this happened 10 years ago, I was around 18 years old. By this time I was in university. My university was two hours away from my hometown, so I was living in that other city. But because it was just two hours away, I came to my hometown pretty often. I was coming to my hometown to take my driver license, because I was not finished with that. Normally I would have some of my family members to take me, but one of these days, one of these Saturdays, um, that particular Saturday, uh, nobody of my family could have really take me there in the morning, so I had to take a bus, which was totally normal. I had done that many times before. I went to take my, the bus, I'm not sure it should have been probably 8 or 9 in the morning, something like this. So yeah, here I go uh, to the stop, I was with my headphones, you know, like uh, this emo style, you know, like very like don't talk to me, I'm, I'm, I'm a bad girl and stuff like that. I was actually uh, completely alone at, at this time, which is also totally fine. So I was just waiting for my bus. And like, keep in mind, like I, I'm here on this position and I want to go to that side. That's the side of the city that I want to go. It doesn't make sense to go to that side. Like, you can go to that side, but then you would have to go very around the, the, the villages to get there. So it wouldn't really make sense. Um, so I was waiting on my bus, the bus station to go to this side. So, and um, just for you to have an idea, like behind me was like a church and a cemetery, not that kind of creepy kind of thing, but a very, very open space, really, it's very open space. Um, and then you have the main road in front, and then you have like a, a little extra road with where the bus comes out of the main road to pick up people and then go, goes back and goes to this side. Um, and in front of me was just a very open space, a field space, I'm not quite sure what they had there. And then there is also like a little mini market there, and then you have normal buildings and stuff like that. So I was just waiting for my bus, uh, and, and then like uh, there wasn't that much traffic in the morning, there wasn't that much people going around. I didn't thought too much of it, it was just a total normal day. I always lived my life there, so I wasn't really thinking that something was going to happen. So I, I noticed this van coming from this side to this side. I just noticed, uh, like I was, like I said, like there wasn't that much traffic, so you kind of look at whatever is going on around there. The, the car was going that, the van was going that side, and I noticed that he stopped on one on the parking lot from the buildings, the apartments there. Again, didn't thought too much of it. And then I saw that he turned around. Um, like, sure, it's fine. <laughs> the problem was when he got out of the main road, on the, 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 the bus road where the bus would pick up uh, people, and he stops in front of me. Because this is small villages and everything, you wouldn't really think too much about it uh, because it's the kind of place that everybody knows everybody. My first thought was that this person probably, or he needs help for something, or he knows my family and I don't know, wants to say something. So he basically rolled on the window of the passenger, like I now I don't really remember if it was automatic or if it was manual, like if he had to stretch up. I really don't remember about this. Because I was the only person around there, like I knew he was going to ask me something, so I just go close to the van. Not that close, but closer. And I took my headphones to listen to what they were saying. And he just told me like, hey, how are you? Like, uh, hi, um, I'm fine, how are you? Um, something wrong, do you need something? He just told me, are you going to this city, the city that I wanted to go? It wasn't that difficult to guess because I was in the bus stop. Because these kind of bus stops, it's not like you can go to different places. Like this bus, if you take this bus, like the last stop is that city. So 
he he could have guessed like the, the the little towns in the meanwhile but it was pretty obvious that I would go to this city I just answered him ah, yeah I'm going there but I'm waiting for the bus and then he just told me if you want I can I can give you a lift just come in I'll take you there at this point I just remember that I totally saw him coming from this side and turning around so I thought it was like very very weird that he was asking me to go there I just told him very politely um, thank you I'm okay I'm really just waiting for the bus I don't need your help well, throughout all of this conversation he was just like smiling at me um, a little bit creepyish but you know he <laughs> wouldn't really think too much of it and he asked me a very weird question which was are you a foreigner? you know in Portugal at least in my town around my area we don't have that many foreigners so that question was very weird and also made me realize that he didn't knew me or my parents so if he knew he would have nice that right also my accent is very strong my pronunciation is very strong so it does indicate that I am from there so it was very weird that he asked me that question after a while I thought like maybe because of how how my my hair my hair was quite long at the time and it was red but it's the kind of red that is impossible to be natural you know all of this was very weird um, like also I was wearing just some jeans and some leather jacket um, I wasn't like showing any skin or something like I'm trying to find a reason for this person to have approached me but I, I don't because I was like very very normal sneakers uh, yeah, so that, that was very weird. So then he asked me, are you a foreigner? I just like awkwardly looked at him. I was like, um, no, I'm not. But thank you, you can go on your way. I'm just waiting for the bus. And then I backed out. And while I was backing out, I was just looking at the, the, the seat inside of the van. I was just really, really worried if he was having like a knife or a gun, something that he could um, threaten me to go inside. Then I backed out back to the, the bus stop uh, step and um, I, I just put my headphone but I did turn off my the music because I wanted to see you know if there was any sound anything that he would have said. Um, by this time I was also looking everywhere to see someone on the street <laughs> and that was the point that was no one just no one. you know there was always like some little old lady going there there was absolutely no one around I was just starting, my heart was just racing. He just kept looking at me for seriously 30 seconds, one minute, kind of smiling and you know, like. very creepy. <laughs> then he just realized that nothing was going to happen, I guess. And he turned on the van. And then I wanted to go here, right? He, this is the van. He just basically did this. I went back to the same first, first way that I saw him coming. And then I think, I don't know, maybe five minutes later, five, ten minutes, the bus came. And I just went inside of the bus, like my legs were completely shaking. I remember because I had like three or four steps on the bus to go up and it was very difficult. I just sit it down and I was just texting my friend. I, this was like the first person that I, that I texted. And that was actually pretty much it. I never saw this man again. I never heard from him. I never see anything or the van. Not that I have thought about it. Um, actually, I also never told this story to anybody, like my parents or anything, because at the time I had a lot of freedom, um, and I, I think, what I think was that I really didn't want to mess that up, so if I told something like this, maybe my freedom would be cut a little bit, um, but I guess my way of thinking was that, and also because my idea was um, nothing really happened, so... I don't have to tell this to anybody, it's, you know, like, <laughs> uh, it's not a big deal, but I do think it was a big deal and um, I think it was very naive from my side, I should have at least taken the license number and I should have told my parents, at least be more aware, I just hope that this person never came in contact with anyone else. Just one little thing that I want to uh, <laughs> attach to this is that people always told me like, I looked very young. I was 18, but I probably looked like I was 16, 15, 16. Also, I'm a very small girl, so um, it's very easy to believe in that. So I, I'm really wondering why 
what this man, this full grown man, I think he he was probably around his 40s, wanted with a 15, 16 year old girl. Um, nothing happened to me, and um, thankfully. Uh, I just want to tell this story to raise awareness, show your daughters, your friends, your... This, I know for sure, this, this also happens to boys. So just be careful and don't be naive. Because really, when I saw this man first, I really thought that he maybe he knew my family and so he knew me. It is very common around my village and around my area to just do this. Oh, oh I see. Do, are you going there? Do you want me to take you there? Like, yeah, sure, thank you. It's very, very common. Like, So I really don't know what I was thinking. I, I don't remember what I was thinking. Like, But I do remember that I thought something was wrong, that this man was... And then the fact that he, when he asked me if I was a foreigner, then was when it really made the click. So like, whoa, wait, there? This person doesn't know me or my parents. Because he thinks I'm a foreigner. So mm, it's time to back out and um, just wait for him to just disappear from my face, which he did. Um, yeah, that this is very much my story. I just hope tell people that I just want to show this story that these kind of things can happen even in small towns, a a anywhere. Like I know you 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 hear about these stories that happens in American big cities and stuff like that, but it also happens in small places like where I live in Portugal so just be careful just pay attention I just don't I want all everybody to be safe and that nothing would happen to anyone so be safe and see you next time <laughs>